First things first, I have to be honest with you. McDonald's let me down this weekend. Saturday, after one of my daughter's classes, said, texted my wife, hey, do you want some McDonald's for lunch? I think our daughter would like it. I think, you know, we, we're busy today. We don't have a lot. Let, let's make sure that we get some lunch. So I order on the app. What did I order? Four-piece Chicken McNugget Happy Meal with apple juice and a toy. One McDouble sandwich for me. Six-piece Chicken Nugget with fries uh, and a snack size strawberry milkshake for my wife. What happened? Get the bag. My fault, okay, my fault. I didn't look in the bag. I, I had other stuff to do. I was holding shopping bags. I had my daughter on my shoulder. I said, I trust you. They wouldn't steer me wrong. So I acknowledge my own role in this. By the way, thank you, Rex Mechanica, for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Get home, open the bag, remember, should have a six piece, a four piece, medium fries, child's fries, apple juice, hamburger, milkshake. What do we have? Milkshake, hamburger, two six piece chicken McNugget, one child sized French fry, no apple juice. I was like, wait, I think we just jacked somebody else's order. Like they, our numbers got mixed up on the, on the screen or something like that. Like it was, it was almost a, a completely different order. It's a massive downgrade. It hurt a little bit. It hurt because, you know, it's like I let my family down. I let my family down. No toy. No toy. I know that was the worst. I'm just trying to be honest with you because I, I, it's not all, you know, sunny days of the golden arches. Occasionally they do make a mistake. I had a McDouble after playing pickleball. My body recovered so fast afterwards that I played again later that night. Be honest, okay? No lies here. It wasn't just the McDouble, was it? You probably had a Coke Zero, too. Be honest. Caught. Caught. I knew it. I knew it. They never get the order right. I've entered like a different uh, phase of my life where I just accept that they're not going to get the order right. Not even at McDonald's, but even at like you know, sit-down restaurants. I know I, I, it's, it's a rehash of a bit, but it's only a rehash because the same thing keeps happening to me. Yesterday, I took my wife out shopping for Mother's Day, went to uh, a nice cafe for dinner. My wife said, I'll take chicken katsu omu rice. I said, I'll take uh, fajita beef hash. And I said, can we start with the yam fries? Waitress said, sure. I looked her in the eyes. She looked me in the eyes. I knew we were in good hands. No iPad, no iPhone, no pen and pad, no nothing, no, no ballpoint pen tucked behind the ear. Lo and behold, 15 minutes later, the entrees come out. No yam fries. We finish the entrees. No yam fries. I look at the build. No yam fries. It's just like I, I at this point, I just uh, we should be ordering like 15 percent more at restaurants, like just because 15 percent of it is not going to make it to the table. It's okay. I mean, after I finished my entree, I was kind of like, thank God I didn't get the yam fries. Like, I'm fucking full. So maybe she knew better than I did. She was like a food concierge. Mother's Day is a nice day. Listen, there's two reasons that Mother's Day is great. I am blessed that um, my parents are visiting. They're staying with us right now. So I got to take my mom out for lunch. Obviously, you know, I live with my wife, who is the mother of my child. So I got to honor the two most important women in my life. But the other side of it is that I also got to fucking go out for lunch. And then I got to pass my daughter off to her grandparents. And I got to take my wife out for dinner. Holy, man. It's almost like Father's Day, to be honest. Do you take leftovers home when leaving a restaurant? Of course. Now, what are, what are we doing today? I was not going to play Poke Doku today. But I would be remiss if I didn't because... Friend of the channel, mod of the channel, Sir Toasty Toes is the featured creator for Poke Doku today. Now they have created a master, I guess I should put this, well I guess this probably won't be its own standalone video considering it'll be like seven minutes long, but I, I would be remiss if I didn't give it a try here, <clears throat> even though it is a master level puzzle. It's a featured bonus Poke Doku master puzzle by Sir Toasty Toes. Toasty, are you like a big YouTuber now? I don't go on YouTube. It's not meant to be like a derogatory or anything. Well, I know, like, I, I know Toasty from, I don't know, like eight years ago or something like that. And then like every once in a while, I look at a Toasty tweet about Pokemon 
and it's got like 38,000 likes or something like that. And I'm like, what the, when, when the hell did this happen? Toasty has some bangers. <laughs> Toasty's huge. Where are you on a scale of, um, I don't know, zero, zero subscribers to um, Wolfie Glick? Closer to zero? Okay, well, that maybe 0.5% of Wolfie. That's pretty good, though. You're, I mean, you're, you're perceptible. The FDA would require that that amount of, of Glick is disclosed in like a bottle of Dasani. What is that's like 50 or 500 parts per million or something like you're that sounds like you're popping off it might even be 5,000 parts per million now that I'm thinking about it final evolution there, people said zero of nine there's no shot that I'm not getting one because final evolution dual type is easy there's like a thousand Pokemon that work for this here's one Nidoqueen that's 0.4% I'm the greatest of all time I guess, or maybe it's one of those things where there's so many possible answers that, like, it's, it's too easy. I think I can get five today, and I'm being real with you. I think five is doable, okay? Final Evolution Steel, Steelix. Easiest pick of my life. Bug Dual Type, Scyther. A given. Bug Steel, I totally believe there is a chance I can do that. <laughs> Johto is Gen 2, dual type. Easy? Oh, no. It's got to be Ho-Oh, bro. There's no shot this dude isn't like, you know, flying Chipotle or something. Yeah! <laughs> Final evolution evolved by item. Hmm. Leafeon? I'm actually, I'm going to the moon. Final evolution evolved by item. Bug evolved by item. Buggy on. Uh, 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 okay, okay, I got to think about this for a second. We got a perfect game going here. Now, this is a problem for me because I didn't know Steel Pokemon existed in Gen 2. And if they did, Steelix was probably like the first one, if I had to guess. So... Wait, whoa, 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 hang on. There's a, there's a, Sizor must be Bug Steel. I get that he's also flying, but he's Bug Steel. He has to be. He has to be! <laughs> he's got steel claws, bro. Okay. Now this, this is where things get tricky. Uh, okay, Johto evolved by item. Any chance they started throwing out like Espeon Gen 2? Oh, that's our first whiff. That, that one stings. I thought those extra uh, eons came out in Gen 2, but I might be mistaken. Johto evolved by item. Maybe Togepi requires something to evolve out of the egg version? Nope. Okay. Johto Steel. Agron. Aeron. Wrong. Honestly, I can still be really happy with six, honestly. You're close. They just, oh, they pour, or uh, Espeon doesn't evolve via an item. What do they evolve? Like walk out and show your EV to the moon on like February 29th or whatever. Friendship. Friendship and time of day. Okay. Porygon 2. Porygon Z, Cleavor. Oh, this is this is Sir Toasty Toast picks. Okay, a little Togetic. Oh, you went Gyarados on that one, huh? You didn't go uh, Nidoqueen. Nidoqueen was a better one. No disrespect, Toasty. Most common. I knew I should have put Steelix on the bottom. That would that would have saved me. I forgot about Kevin. Did you know that there is a Kevin Durant basketball player and also a Kevin Durant um, film actor? And you might say, what has Kevin Durant been in? Uh, Kevin Durand played a uh, Dr. Evil's henchman in Austin Powers 2 when uh, Robin Spitz, maiden name Swallows, tries to assassinate Austin Powers at his own house party. She riddles the, or he riddles Robin Spitz's body with bullets. She says, go to hell, Powers. And then Austin Powers, of course, says, why won't you die? 
and then they f- jump out the window uh, and uh, or they get hit by a, a bazooka like right in her chest and then they fly out the window and the fall will kill us both powers and then he positions her in front of him so that she cushions the fall oh man toasty good one good one toasty good one a, a thinking man's puzzle that I got six out of nine for, I'll take it. <clears throat> Slash marker, Balatro. We were at the mall yesterday. I took my wife to the mall to do some shopping for Mother's Day. You ever notice these days how many people live their life like a GTA 5 NPC? Especially at the mall. They come like walking out of the store in third person with their shoulders going like this. Don't look left, don't look right, just walk straight out of the door. Like the camera pans around the back of their head. They're blocking traffic, they don't care. Just walked out of the store with absolutely no idea where they were gonna go after that. Figure you'll just stand in front of the door for like 30 seconds, take a phone call, etc., etc. Plus two, plus two. Can I tell you the, this behind the scenes director's commentary? We were walking through the mall. Some dude walked out of the store, did exactly that. Kate and I were basically like, what's up with those guys? And I said, I know, he's living life like it's a, he's a GTA 5 NPC. She laughed. And then I said, okay, I'm gonna remember that one. I'm gonna commit it to memory. Because if she laughed at it, then chat's gonna like it too. Then on the drive home from the mall, like two hours later, I was like, what was that joke you laughed at earlier? And then she was like, oh, the GTA 5 NPC. And I was like, yeah, that was a banger. <laughs> Oilers in net, or Oilers when she loves is in net. Okay, good game, everybody. Listen, I, I really, I'm thrilled with my hockey team. But I have to remind myself it's just hockey. Like, there was a, an incident at the end of the game, you know, the, McDavid slashes Susie, okay? These are not my friends. These are just professional athletes that happen to wear my jersey. Um, well, their jersey, I guess, now that I think about it. McDavid slashes Susie, okay? Susie turns around and says, hey, it's a big idea. Meanwhile, Zadorov cross checks McDavid. McDavid falls to his knees like, uh, What's her name? <laughs> I'm like, who's the who's Ned Stark's wife again? Liza Stark. Anyway, long story short, he falls to his knees in Walmart. Susie cross checks him. He went to cross check him in the chest, but because he fell, he kind of cross checked him like right across his orbital bone. <clears throat> People are getting very bent out of shape over this. Oh, he's getting a hearing. He might get suspended. And yet earlier in the game. Quinn Hughes got like a cut on his cheek and nobody fucking even cared at all. We really like, I'm sorry to say this. I'm, I'm only saying this to Canucks fans because I'm part of the in group. So maybe you'll listen to me. We have to be smarter. You have to be less stupid. It's sports, okay? Our team is not the good guys. <clears throat> the other team is not the bad guys. All, all of our players are not moral and just and ethical and donate half their salary to charity and never say bad words in private. And all of their team is not, you know, like inbred hicks who kick puppies on the way home from the arena and stuff like that. They're all the, they're, they're all the same, man, which is to say they're not all the same, but it is to say that we don't know who they are. So let's stop doing this like, like every team in the NHL, their fan base thinks the refs hate them. You'll even go to like the, the Vegas subreddit and people will be like, well, the refs just have it out for Vegas. And you're like, buddy, what the fuck are you talking about? You ever like seen on ice level hockey? The fact that the referees can see anything is a miracle. Like that, that shit is like organic Neuralink. I can't believe that they can ever. I am watching like a bird from the sky while commentators tell me what to look at. And I feel like a god when I'm like, oh, that's a slash. And then the referee goes like this. I'm like, I'm a genius. We got it. It's just sports, man. It's just sports. Vancouver rioted and destroyed their city. True. There's nothing to do in Edmonton. So they all just get way too drunk. Stand up for the entirety of the third period. Blocking the view for the people who paid $1,500 for their seats behind you. True. Okay, but we don't have to use that against one another. Okay, they will not divide us. Let's see. Did you see the game last night? The dude was standing up the whole time. What's he doing, man? Anyway, it's just, I, I'm not getting involved. I just, I feel bad because like, it's, it's a lot like, um, I need to live. So I'm going to take this. It's a lot like being, uh, 
a content creator online. You know, we had a very normal weekend. I took my daughter to activities. I went out to lunch with my mom, dinner with my wife. Uh, we had friends over who have kids and had like a barbecue on Saturday. We had a bouncy castle. Kids were having fun, splashing in the water. It was it was sunny. It was the first like hot weekend day of the year. They're going down the slide, talking about you know life, talking about sports. Just being like, yeah, I hope we win, but if they don't, well, you still got to go to work on Monday. Then you log on, <clears throat> and people are like, McDavid should be suspended for crying. And you're like, oh, right, I forgot these people like aren't normal. It's like when you like spend your whole weekend touching grass, and then you're like, I wonder what I missed on the internet, and there's like a 75,000 reply quote tweet about how like the phrase touching grass is ableist or something like that, and you're like, oh, I didn't miss too much. They said it was classist. My mistake, my mistake. I just, I only saw it because of the quote tweet that said, it was referencing the Halloween costume tweet that said, can you even do anything? <clears throat> it doesn't make sense. No, you're right, it doesn't make sense. They said it costs 50 euros to go outside. I mean, that's like my, my number one tell that someone doesn't go outside is when they say something like, dinner for two costs $100 now. And I'm like, have you, have you ever been to a restaurant or are you just like looking at menus from like the Hamptons or something like that? You can go to the park for free. Oh, really? How am I supposed to get there for free? Well, you could take the bus. Oh, the bus is free now. I didn't get the memo. Well, it's $3.10. Well, that's not free. That's actually a billion times more than free. You could walk. Oh, really? You got some shoes that I can borrow and some socks? You already own those? Well, I do, of course, because I go outside. I really don't get the point of chat with over a thousand viewers. Hey, could like a few thousand of you leave? Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know. You just decide amongst yourselves how to do it. There's You're making one person in chat like a little bit uncomfortable because their messages are not getting read, I think. I don't know. They're, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth. That's just how it seems to me. Audit them? No, I'm just like lightly poking fun at them. You don't have to tear someone down. It's just how I know you're a member of Gen Z. You don't have to d distill somebody down to like their being just because of one comment that like, you know, you, you took offense to. They're still redeemable. They're still here. They, that's a step in the right direction. You do that all the time? Yeah, but that's for irredeemable comments. Like people who say touching grass is classist. At that point, we gotta, that's like reverse engineering what went wrong is a cautionary tale to educate our viewers. But like just someone saying something that I think is easy to make fun of, they didn't do anything wrong. Sell Square if you're not using it. <clears throat> you ever listen to Jack Bogle? I already know the answer is no, because I've seen uh, what happened to GameStop today. Everybody's in a rush. They say, don't just stand there, do something. Sometimes, don't do something. Just stand there. Why am I not selling Square Joker? We have open Joker spots and Swashbuckler scales a little bit based on the sell value of our Jokers. So for me, I'm like, I'm not gonna sell this for two bucks of fucking, like getting a, a stick of double bubble gum or something like that. Like it's, it's providing us some shit right now as we speak. That's John Bogle, not Jack Bogle. <clears throat> Hang on, I'm just getting my telephone. So this is, I'm just being honest with you, you pedantic so-and-so. This is for all the marvels. Trig Seg V, Trig Seg V. Okay, give me a moment here. Vanguard ETF Corporation. Let me look at the, I'm going to the Wikipedia article. It's founded in Malvern, Pennsylvania by John Bogle, you win that one. You win that one. I'm gonna say slash VIP Trigseg V. There you go. I wish you could put a note with VIPs. And the note would just say, was right when I thought they were wrong. He goes by Jack though. Well, I, I was the one who made the assertion that they were incorrect. Even if I'm also correct, that doesn't make uh, that doesn't make them incorrect, which is what my assertion was in the first place. So in the interest of, uh, of intellectual honesty, I gotta give it to them. Hey NL, I read The Design of Everyday Things. Thank you for the book recommendation. Uh, you're welcome. 
Also, it's uh, The Design of Everyday Things is a great book, but it will make you sound like an insane person whenever you talk to anybody else. Because you'll be like going into a facility of some sort and you'll be like, look at this door. Look at why does the door have the word pull on it in 12 different languages? It should just have a handle where you can't push. And why does this door have push on it? It just shouldn't have a handle. It should just have a metal rectangle. The design of the thing should indicate to you the purpose of what the thing is. Tell him that's what I'm saying. Don't even get me started. It, it, Don Norman, I know he's still working. Fuck Norman doors. Things have gotten worse. We need Norman toilets. And don't even get the Norman showers is like that that will not happen in my lifetime that we'll get a standardized shower where like they just design the knobs in such a way that you know how to use them and you don't have to read the user manual every time you go to a new hotel. We need Norman toilets. Toilets were fine for a thousand years or whatever, 10 years, whenever they were invented. They had a button on the top or they had a lever on the side. All you had to do was go no problem. Now, every new toilet you go into, you're looking around like John Travolta in the first act of Pulp Fiction. What the fuck's going on? There's one big button with no label on it, one small button with no label on it. Do you push the big button when you have a big fucking steamy shit? Because that's big? And you push the small button when you piss because piss is tiny? Or do you push the small button when you take a shit because shits are rarer, so you should press the smaller button and you should press the bigger button for the most common that you do? It doesn't make any sense, man. Just put the lever. The lever was fine. Why would you go by rarity? Well, because it's like a TV remote, you know? The power button's this big. You should The buttons you use more often should be bigger, in my opinion, at least. No, I know TV remotes are backwards. The power button's always like super little and then a button you never use is always like 80% of the universal remote. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck is sap? I know it's not what I'm hoping it is. Another five hour Balatro stream? Who would have seen this coming? It's honestly like, I, I don't say this to ruin your life, okay? All I wanna say is like, you know how like, People, you can't make a joke in stand-up comedy about like airplanes these days because Jerry Seinfeld ruined it for everybody. It's like, imagine trying to build like a, a tight five out of the docket. Not the product that's actually like on the screen, but just like the docket itself. I understand how it is. The world has never been as bad as it is right now, but it's never going to be as good as the one that I imagined in my mind. Well, when you want to rejoin the real world, start having conversations about apples versus pears. Why do people walk out of stores in the mall like Grand Theft Auto 5 NPC where they don't look uh, both ways when they come out and they just like stare straight ahead? You ever want to like get into a real human conversation about the, the air that we breathe and the water we drink and the food we consume and like the flesh that rubs up against itself? with your thighs, which maybe that's the reason like my jeans are decaying faster than the average person's, ETFs versus mutual funds, two and 20, stuff like that. If you ever wanna talk about the real world and not uh, cartoons for kids that are mostly consumed by adults and uh, when is he gonna play Super Auto Pets again? We'll be here for you. We're not ostracizing you from the community. I'm just asking us to elevate the level of our discourse a little bit as I prepare to enter my 40s at some point, hopefully in like the next five years, I can't be out here arguing with 17 year old kids from Bolivia with like, when are you gonna bring back Super Auto Pets? The last patch was really good. We gotta, you gotta let me go a little bit so that I can continue to progress into adult life, okay? And I know for you, it's like you were working your IT job and you got other stuff to do, so you just thought I'll come in here and write like a little comment, but this is my life, man. You're harassing me at work. This thing that people will really like come in here and be like, anybody who treats service staff badly, that's a red flag for their personality. Then you come in here and you treat me flippantly. You're a hypocrite. And I know you're all obsessing and getting hard over cognitive dissonance. Like you're living your life in a way that's true to the ideals and the values that you hold in your head. Well, fucking act like it, bro. Next. Just getting here, would you describe yourself as slim thick? Um, no, I wouldn't describe myself as slim thick. I don't think that's right. I would, I, what's the male version of stacked? Cause I think I'm, I'm kind of stacked. I'm not super lean, but I'm, I'm bottom heavy. I wouldn't say built. No, I, we have, built has a different uh, connotation. I think in the modern era built is like, Roid Rage, you know, uh, 
the rock tattoos, like Ray-Ban sunglasses and stuff like that. Caked, I'm like, I'm not bragging. It's just the way I was built. I am caked up, but I feel like caked doesn't have the same kind of connotation as stacked. I guess what I'm trying to say is, it kind of strikes me as like an insult. <laughs> stocky, sure, but stocky is, stocky has been corrupted because it's been used by chubby people to say that they're stocky. And then the people who are like one step past chubby now say that they're chubby and the people who are one step past that now say that they're one step. But you know, like there's been an inflation in that. Don't Google it, by the way. Don't Google chubby inflation. But so yeah, I think I'm, I'm maybe I'm just stacked. Maybe I'm just stacked, but like on the bottom instead of the top. Librarian, thanks for the gifted subscription. I'm, uh, subscriptions, I'm gonna try not to think about the connotations the implications of diving into deep or possibly the complications you know what i'm saying especially at night are you saying you're breedable um well just like scientifically i don't think i have it in me i don't know i honestly i'd have to leave that one up to the wisdom of crowds i don't think i would want to be bred personally i'm not trying to be gross about it maybe some people will see this as gross i just see this as like we're talking about real life, man. It just seems annoying to me. Like, hey, normal dude, <laughs> thanks. I question you, but also thanks for the gifted subscriptions. But I'm like, it doesn't just like, you know, evaporate up there. Doesn't it like, like a lot comes out like right away and then you're just kind of like changing your underpants twice a day for the rest of the day? Yeah, that seems kind of annoying, man. You're gonna be doing a lot more laundry for sure. What are you talking about? Do you need me to spell it out? <laughs> I mean, it's embarrassing for you. I think we... Did we veil it in euphemisms? Yes. Did I think that the average person could figure out what the fuck we're talking about? Of course. Hey, librarian, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Librarian, stop! I, I appreciate it, but stop gifting subscriptions, okay? Save your money invested into the S&P 500 via ETFs that have like a... 0.16% carrying cost, okay? You, you got, you're, you're doing great work. Don't just pass all the earnings on there. I appreciate it, but it's the horny talk. You know what's funny is that I would think on the internet that it would be reversed. Like I would think if, if guy streamers were like horny talking, I would think that people would be like, shut up, bro, bad look. But instead all the degenerates are like, yeah, here's 50 bucks, <laughs> play. Play uh, Stellar Blade, play Stellar Blade. And then you would think like when the ladies were horny posting, you think that people would be like, yeah. But instead I think that they all are like, mm, that makes me uncomfortable. It's fucking weird and backwards, bro. Have you ever hear of supply and demand? Like every dude is out there horny posting. There should be, it, the supply should be cresting the demand by like 10X. It doesn't make any sense. Least misogynist thing you've ever said. We're so back. By the way, I mean no disrespect. In fact, if you look at my messages in the Discord, it's actually like way, uh, it's, uh, it's respect rather than disrespect. I will not be reciting a thousand digits of pi. Hi there, my name's Emily and I was able to memorize a thousand digits of pi in around 11 hours. I wanted to challenge you to try to beat that time in under 11 hours. Specifically, I want to call out the following streamers. Miz, Cutie, Ludwig, Squeaks, FanFan, Simply, Russell, Cinna, Emmy, Foosley, Northern Lion, Pyre Software, Dug Dug. I challenge you guys, and if you can do it in under 11 hours, I'll get you a prize. Extra Emily, I appreciate the, uh, the invitation. This is not your fault, but please never at me in something like that again, because I'm getting like 17 tweets per second from people whose Twitter feeds are just about streamers or like retweeting Asus ROG giveaways to try to win like a free mechanical keyboard. And it's it's making the website unusable, which honestly is good for me, which I, I appreciate. But the, I mean, all I'm saying is the mute this conversation button is not doing the same way under Elon that it was under Jack Dorsey, okay? I, they, they must have fired the 10 people that were in charge of making sure that feature actually works. The reason that I will not be doing it is because I honestly, I, I think I could do it, 
but I also think it would take me a long, 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 long time. I think that you will clear my time easily. Uh, and uh, I, I mean, I just, I just don't see myself being productive at it. The name 100 women thing, I was like, that's a six minute task. <laughs> Thousand digits of pie. That's uh, I gotta, I gotta get like a trainer or something. Plus, I I'm like in my literary coded era. Like I'm such a alphabetized word cell right now. I'm word maxing. Um, I can remember words well. I think my memory is largely okay, but especially for words and stories. Uh, for numbers, I think I would have to make like a thousand sequence story. Like. Three point men walk into one bar and order four rounds for their fir four drinks for their first round. Five minutes later, nine, <laughs> and then I'm like, see, it would take 20 years for me to get it done, okay? So, but I, I, I appreciate the challenge. I'm actually just saying it's too hard for me. So I, I surrender. But then I was thinking, you know what's crazy? Is that like, it seems like remembering a thousand numbers is not that hard. Because you're like, well, I know like a trillion numbers. But we don't really actually remember a trillion numbers. You gotta know like 1 to 100. Well, 0 to 100. And then you gotta know like, I mean, just using the algorithm that you use to get from 0 to 100. You can then get to 999. So the next number you need to learn is a thousand. And then after that, you can use that up to like, I don't know, like nine. Well, you could use it up to a million, essentially. So then like you go like 999,000 numbers without having to memorize them. The next one you need to know is a million. And then after that, you need billion, trillion, quadrillion. I don't even know what comes after that. But it's interesting to think about it, right? Like I stupidly was like, we remember way more numbers than that, but we don't. There's probably, if you think about, like, I've been alive for, I don't know, 20,000 days, something like that. Maybe, maybe like 17,000 days. There's numbers that I know that I've never heard of. Like, I've, it's possible, like, that outside, I have never heard the number 31,322. I know it exists, and I can, I can get to it, I can count to it, I can say what comes around it in a range. But have I ever experienced 32,122? I don't know. Maybe I have, maybe I have it. Have I ever experienced 312,917? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Hey, Snaps Cube, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. We're talking about, we're talking about mathematics, the philosophies of math right now, which is very dangerous for somebody that, uh, I mean, the last math I took was the mathematics of biology, which sounds like a, a, a bird course but it was not a bird course. Like it, it was the hardest math course I'd ever taken. We were actually using like computer programming, not just uh, graph paper. It was hard. Yeah, I think I got like a 53, which thankfully in Canada is a pass. Full house is kind of ass for us. What is good for, nothing's good for us right now. Uh, a flush house would be good for us. Do we have another three of spades? Yes. Should we be fishing for that in today's, I gotta stop saying work a day world because I don't know what it means. I think we should be playing four of a kinds and five of a kinds if possible. Three kings, four sevens. I'm gonna throw three of a kind at you real quick. Just to, I mean, it's basically like a pseudo discard and then we get a full discard and then eh, they've decided, they've decided I'm not anointed anymore. They have not anointed me. We'll just call that one bad vibes. <laughs> lost the mandate of heaven. LeBron James reportedly lost the mandate of heaven. You ever see the video of uh, that basketball player uh, edging the orange Gatorade bottle? You know the one I'm talking about. It's tough, it's tough every night, um, you know, um, when we don't get to the free throw line as much as the other team. Um, when one player shoots more free throws than your entire team, it's tough. You know, it's tough to compete. In the fourth quarter, when you miss a shot and they go to they, they go to the free throw line every time down the floor, so it's tough there. 
So I tip my hat to my teammates, my coaches. You just gotta go out there and play every night. Yeah, how, how do you let that kind of get you guys going too much? It's, it's hard, it's hard. It's, right? yeah, it's, it's hard not to. I mean, for any player, like, because you want to compete. And it, every time they get the ball and we so-called foul them and they get to the free throw line, it's tough that you, you know, you don't, I don't know how to explain it, man. We want to compete out there and, and be able to play without Anthony Edwards, where he like has the orange Gatorade bottle and it's like, he's got it like on his lips and he's about to take a sip and then he like pulls it down and he starts talking some more and then he pulls it like back up and he doesn't take a drink and then he's, librarian, I need to see that. Tom, well, Tom Walker, welcome to the chat. Please do not interface with Jesus be ballin'. Actually, that's not fair. I, I'm worried about losing him as a chatter to the uh, high traffic, low friction Grand Theft Auto 4 playthroughs, okay? Jesus Be Ballin is actually one of the most enlightened chatters on this entire website. I could, like, I'll, I'll prove it to you, okay? Slash user Jesus Be Ballin. Account created over 10 years ago. Previously subscribed for six months, no disrespect. Following for just over a year. They have been timed out four times, but they were all by Moobot, so that's probably just false positives. Comedy gold, plus two, plus two. I love this. We're California girls, we're California girls. Of course we're unbelievable. Plug a little weird, but he chill. Hearing turrets from another room in Lethal Company is the closest I get to World War I shell shock. Like this is, they're, they're like, sometimes they're stepping back and they're facilitating. They're saying great joke, great joke, great joke. Sometimes they're, they're seeing chats a little dead and they're stepping in. They're like, we need a pog injection. We need an adrenaline, we need some banter. We need someone to tell a story. And they're, they're happy to step on, up and fulfill that role. So don't Jolene me, buddy. Don't you Jolene me. I had a dude come up to my drive-thru in a Rolls Royce. He says, you know, I can't just pull up in a Rolls Royce and not tip you. Tipped us $3, we split three ways. Okay, listen. Funny story to begin with, but I do want to say how much was his bill. Because I don't, if, if he ordered like a small coffee and he tipped three bucks, that might be like a 100% tip. That doesn't make him an asshole. That makes him like a nice guy, although he's an asshole for being like, don't I have a nice car? But no person, I guess, is truly entirely good or evil. I laughed really hard. I wasn't mad. It was just funny. So I haven't been downtown in Vancouver in a while. Uh, and I, I feel like, is it, I, I know everyone's going to say yes, but I'm asking like an honest question. Did everybody lose their minds? Or is it just that like living in a, in a more dense environment causes you to like be stressed, which makes you lose your mind? Because like, I feel like I've seen more road rage incidents in the past, and, and there's a, an observer bias, but I've seen like more road rage incidents in the past three months than like the sum total of my life combined prior to that. I saw a, a young dude in a Porsche cut off a dude driving an Audi SUV, and then they got a, in adjacent lanes, rolled down their windows and say, hey, fuck you. Fuck you, you fucking bitch. Fuck you. You want to go? You want to go? Like, li bro, you're in bumper to bumper traffic on like Canby and 8th. Like you, every time the light turns green, you move at like three kilometers an hour for 20 feet and then stop again. Like, what are you going to, you're not going to get out of your car and fight. Anyway, we got like three or four blocks up. They were still like, fuck you, fuck you. And then like the Audi just turned to go on his way. And the Porsche turned illegally from like two lanes away. And then was like, Bring! and just started to follow him. I'm like, what are you going to do? Man? Like, I'm not saying this for them because like, I don't know what their life is like, but if you're watching this and you're like, that sounds like me, you are a fucking loser, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. But you have to like get a, you're driving, dude. This is not real life. You're on your way home and buddy's on his way to the grocery store. You're going to get in a fist fight. Cause he slowed you down on your way getting to save on foods or something like that? Like, are you like literally stupid? Like in the medieval 16th century definition of the word? It's not worth it, man. Who's got the time for that? That's what I'm saying. Who's got time for that? Like, I'm going to get my ass beat because somebody cut me off in traffic. It's, it's insanity. Hey, NL, I saw you toe walking at the Museum of Natural History today. You didn't, but that's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. I got nothing against the Museum of Natural History. I just wasn't, uh, I wasn't there. Do you toe walk in shoes as well? It's every day, bro. 
I saw you toe walking on that weird little bridge in Olympic Village. Yeah, not this weekend, but there may have been a time where, uh, like, I, I, I can't dispute that. That may have indeed come to pass. <clears throat> you should have said hi. I was probably catching, like, a tentacruel or something like that. Do you point your, to your toes when you achieve climax? You know, I'd have to think about it. I'm usually distracted in the moment. Um, actually, there's something to this. Usually preoccupied, thinking about other stuff. Never really considered my form at that moment, prior to that moment, occasionally. Until eventually, sometimes you're just like, this is taking too long, I'm just gonna send it. Okay, thank you, librarian, for the gifted subscriptions, thank you. He's so right. <laughs> oh, man, my God. First hand is drawn face down. Well, I can't afford this and then to reroll it anyway, so... Any advice for people that can't come on command? Yeah, you got the wrong guy. Fool for another Venus. It's pretty good. 49. I love Hanged Man, but I, I can't deny a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. But I bet two in the bush feels better than one in the hand. Speaking from a lot of experience on the hand stuff, but that's not so much on the bush stuff. Nobody ever talks about that side of it, though. Everyone talks about the... Sure, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. But what if you got two in the bush, brother? What if you got two in the bush? We're still alive. I'm Mad Maxing Furiosa out in the 24th. I'm so there, by which I mean I will not be there, but I 100% believe that movie's gonna have a 93 plus on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm gonna say 70 even on Metacritic, which is a good score for a, a, a big movie. I fully believe in it. Now, you know what? I did see people get mad because there was a tweet that was like, why does every shot in the Furiosa trailer look like this? And it was a shot from The Flash where it's like, he's on like a, obviously not in a real set. He's just standing on like a green screen with the camera like fisheye lensed around his head. And everybody was like, actually, none of the shots in the trailer look like that. I'm like, no, every shot in the trailer does look like that. But I still think the movie's going to be gas. Now, if it isn't, forget I ever said it. Bandle me for a brief moment. 1967 with 38 million views. In a gara de vida. Was thinking about it. Ooh. Pretty progressive for 1967. Can you can you go back to this part? Hang on, hang on. Somebody's trying to light up my style. Oh, it's uh, um, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Lucy in the... Body's trying to light up my style. Body's trying to light up my style. And then you can sing the fifth on that one. But he's trying to light up my style. Anyway, how'd you get that? This is my fucking ass loves um, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, dude. Isn't it? It's fucking crazy, dude. Track one, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band slash with a little help from my friends. Track two, I don't know. Track three, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Track four, Getting Better. Lucille in the heaven with jewels. <laughs> ah, <laughs> a little flat, a little flat on that. Anyway, yeah, horrible MIDI. 
Horrible band, great songs. People will really come up with like any excuse to hate the Beatles, huh? Yeah, the songs are good, but the band sucks. What, are you, what the fuck are you talking about? They make songs, man. I've been a big fan of Disorderly. Ooh, this, it's my Disorderly, dude. Sort these 2000s comedies by their critic score on Rotten Tomatoes, starting with the highest. Highest critic score, full stop, 40-year-old 40, eh, 40 virgin is a huge hit that was well-liked. I remember seeing the poster and being like, that movie's going to get a 30, but it's actually at like a 92. I'll tell you, close to the bottom, you're going to find uh, Bruce Almighty and probably Napoleon Dynamite. Even, this is not my ranking. This is how I think critics ranked them. I think people liked The Devil Wears Prada. Juno was a phenomenon when it came out. I'm going to hold it right here for now. We have two correct. I'm going to hot swap these ones. It's that easy. We get it in two. 94, 85, 79, 75, 72, 48. How'd you know? I lived through it. Do not cite the words to me, which I was there when they were written. I know you guys were glazed in Bruce Almighty, too. If you're like seven when you saw it, you're like, Bruce Almighty is like probably one of the best Jim Carrey comedies. What? That's the beginning of the end, brother. It's the beginning of the end. What's the first ingredient listed on a can of Progresso lentil soup? Easy. Vegetable broth. What's the first? Okay, it's water. <laughs> but what's the first ingredient in vegetable broth, bro? The first ingredient in vegetable broth is water. Including zero, what's the fourth number of the Fibonacci sequence? Two. The Stepford Wives and Mystic Pizza are both Hello. set. Oh, my holy fuck. Hello. Hello. Hi. Right. What's up? Five Australians, today? four South Africans, yeah, and Nigerian be. Ben Okri have all won what prestigious great. award? It is kind of worked up, man. Nobel Prize for Literature. That's kind of Canadian great. Margaret Atwood and Britton Hillary are two-time winners of what literary prize that didn't up. open to Americans until 2014? All of it. The Booker Prize. I didn't even know what that is. I honestly thought mm -hmm. that it might not Maybe be get us a fourth. for books because it's called Booker, but we take those. I'm assuming we might get like a, a late entry Chibli. California factory worker Naomi Parker inspired the look of but what also, iconic yeah. character, commonly known by what name? Rosie the Riveter. I'm the greatest trivia player uh. of all time. I was going to say Betty Boop at first, but ain't no... Cut DM me if you look like that. Don't actually, I'm married. How's it going, bros? Hey, Hello. Bud. My name is PewDiePie. Ooh. Remember that? Pardon? Remember that back in the day? <laughs> I, wish I, I don't. Everybody has, uh, every YouTube Let's Player has their catchphrase to open the video. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be real with you. I've, I've never watched a Let's Play. That's so based. <laughs> I, I never will. That's, I watched a lot of Let's Plays as a, as a young child. You should do like a Sporkle quiz that's like name the Let's Player by their intro. I watched maybe like three, <laughs> three Let's Players. Top of the morning to you, laddies. <laughs> Wait, I think I secured a fourth for us. That's Jack Septicai. It's not. No, no, no. I, I don't know him. <laughs> uh, I'd rather have rice. I, I do like rice, but rice doesn't go with everything. At least I don't. That's true. So. Not everything. Also, did you just suddenly become tiny in Discord? What happened there? What tiny? Like small? Yeah. What, what does that mean? <laughs> you were talking and then suddenly your volume like halved. But then I think oh. it went back to normal. Maybe it was me. Maybe it was you. <laughs> Maybe my ears halved. Ooh. Joe Binden hit you with the bisexual shrink ray. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, he would just need a shrink ray. No. <laughs> <laughs> what does the bisexual shrink ray do? Does it make you bisexual and shrink you? Yeah. Or does yeah. It... Okay. But he, it's also bisexual because he's using it. Okay. Taco, hello. Famed bisexual Joe Biden. I, you can just tell. Nothing against it. Joe, Joe Biden in the thing is about to hit me with the bisexual shrink rate. And I'm like, you don't have to do that. I'm not bisexual. And then he's like, we got to do it. We got to test everybody. And then as soon as he points the thing at me, I just start sucking his cock and everybody kills me. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I don't get it, but I'm laughing. You ever seen The Thing, bro? There's a very famous scene where they're doing a blood test to determine who's the alien. And then when they give the alien the blood test, he freaks the fuck out. Mm -hmm. And he started sucking the dude's cock? No, but this is like, what, oh. if, what if it was like allegorical? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't there a way to turn you guys up individually? Maybe. Like, probably. Maybe. No, I don't know, dude. I thought there was a way to turn you up individually. That's a lethal company thing. I know that, but... Oh, that is a lethal company thing. I can raise my own volume. You ran me down, so I understand about this. Would, would you like me to raise my volume? You're good to me. Okay. Hey. Justin is so quiet. I'm quiet? Yeah, you need to raise your in game microphone up. I don't is there like a setting in game yes. for that? Settings, oh, okay. audio. It's at 400, which is the max. <laughs> you are freakishly quiet. Let me go check in my windows real quick. Maybe something got fucked up. I am just going to raise the overall game volume. Um, there's a VoIP volume under at the bottom of audio. Oh! Okay. Oh! This should be good now. So too loud, loud now. too loud. Turn it, turn it too loud, too loud. <laughs> Right, My brothers, watch. can you hear me? Oh, hello. Hello, hello. What's the push to talk button? I think ah! it's, oh, Jesus Christ, man. All right, am I still too loud? <laughs> it's oh, worse. It's so much worse. You're even louder. You're in my soul, man. Okay, how about now? Like same. another, the amount that you just took it down, if you could do the same again. All right, how about now? That sounds Wonderful. great. Holy shit, and that's fine too. <laughs> I didn't know microphones could get that loud. Well, over Windows, a game. so it's funny. Windows had that mic at like seventy-eight percent. I was like, let me just put it to a hundred, and apparently that's not. That was like crazy. Mm -hmm. Yo, it's the angry uh, video oh, game nerd. You're going to leave me standing here? I'm pretty <laughs> mad, actually. Yeah. This door's a crock the... of fucking bullshit. You need to open the door. <laughs> oh! Oh. <laughs> I forgot about that part. I thought we were done, bitch. <laughs> Don't we just be done. You kind of beat the shit out of it. He scared the fuck out Yum. of me, man. Wait, is this, is this fountain water clean? Uh, it says tainted water. Yeah, yeah no, well, I, I took a perk that lets me drink it. Oh, you know, I could fill up my water bottle with tainted water, and then anytime you want to sip, you could just open your mouth. <laughs> yeah, true. That sounds good. <clears throat> Holy, bro! <laughs> what? What? Did you see the power of this flashlight? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Pretty bright. God on Scary. fucking Monday or whenever. Uh. <laughs> oh, let there be light. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's yeah, yeah. Yeah. What the probably, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> God on Monday? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. They Chibli's not here, so somebody has to <laughs> throw know, some stuff like that out. I know, on the Chibli, the Chibli yeah. apps, yeah. If the big voice says... I think I need to put this thing on low Good graphics. Job. I've been having frame rate issues as well, but we can't admit it because everyone makes fun of me. Ooh, what kind of graphics card are you running? Oh, uh, no, 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 don't, 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 no, no. You don't want to get into this. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm going to dog you to get into this because he needs, like, an intervention, but he's uh, totally resistant to the idea. Of it's a 2080 Ti, either. bro. It's state of the art. Wait, that's what I'm on. <laughs> hmm? Let's go. Well, did you have, the, did you have the same TV? phone for a really long time, too? Still do. I've had my iPhone XR wallet. It only just broke because I dropped it in the bath, but I had it for so long. <laughs> Oh, man. Why upgrade, right? I'm with it. It works. Why upgrade if it works? And then you got to go through all that, that uh, you know, two-factor stuff and, like, re-download mm -hmm. all your, the two apps I use. Not for me. Man. How have we avoided each other for so long, like, ships <laughs> in the night? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's this way. All right? No sweat, bro. The soldiers came I have none of through. The they they locked us down. Manufacturing. You think this is going to bounce around? Again. Information about the silos. Yeah, Yo, the dude! They weren't gatekeepers. What's up? Look at, this, look at this rubber band ball. Else. Okay, watch this. Oh, shit. I couldn't yeah. tell them 
anything. But oh, if you can find dude. a power cell, we can use. Can you pitch it to me like a ball? To I'll try. I'm, I'm worried it might hurt you. Here. Though. I'm gonna try to hit that thing. Okay, okay, I'm pitching it to you. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god! <laughs> I think I broke what your hand, hell? man. You, there was like blood coming out of your your wrist. Yeah, it did. It did kind of fuck me up. Okay, sorry. There's sorry. a big hole. There's a big hole. Is this some Sekiro shit? Oh man, it's just uh, it's man. so tempting. You got it right, <laughs> guys. How do we not? Yeah, sounds like you already know what's down there. <laughs> no, we actually didn't. I don't, genuinely don't. Oh, it doesn't. Huh? It doesn't what? You, you trying to push? Are you trying? To... <laughs> I was trying. Oh. Oh, fucker. We're gonna need some help. And the flashlight kills them or stuns them? Nope. Okay, so you were flashlighting it for no reason. <laughs> Look out! This guy's a, he's a killer, man! He's a stone cold killer! Ah! Well, dog. Dogs? Dogs? Here, I'll, I'll be the cameraman. I have the high ground. It took me fucking leg! <laughs> How do I heal? <laughs> hey, 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 hey! It's nighttime. It's nighttime. What the fuck happened? Wait, is it okay to? At nighttime, uh, some monsters come to life. What the fuck is this? Is this an enemy? It's Arctic. Or is it just me? Come over here real quick. What is this? What is this about? What I'm running. I'm running. Can I feed the coworker or no? What? This Get robot? I don't see no coworker. Look below you guys. I see nothing. Oh. Who's oh. That? <laughs> what what is happened this to about? the coworker? I want to feed it. Uh, he won't eat that. He won't eat yeah, that. Won't feed him yeah, I, him. I have no food. You think he'll eat some, like, some chips or something? Man, filing all those reports really uh, worked up my appetite. How do you bring up your watch, OT? You're a real pal, you know that? <laughs> it's supposed to be 1993, or is it like 2093? What are you talking about, man? If you push T, it brings up your watch. This is March 17th, 93. Oh, yeah, I think that's 19. He won't eat that? Sorry, it's all fucked. Mm. What? I don't know why I'm filthy. Just Go remember, it, Kate, we're all a family. Yo, he's like, dude, he's a loot bug. Is he really? Bro, I, I fed him enough snacks that, like, pens started popping out of his pocket. Oh, fuck. That's pretty cool. I don't know what's up with this guy. He's a little weird. He's a little freak, man. That's kind of cool, though. I wish he would, like, show some self-respect and, like, stand up or whatever. No, no, no. I'm <laughs> b-hopping, I'm b-hopping. You can't, you can't. I want to go make a new weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Pop quiz, favorite Pixar film. Wrong answer gets a slushy <coughs> bomb thrown at them. Is Ratatouille? What the <laughs> fuck? I didn't answer! <laughs> Messed up. <laughs> Did you guys get hurt or just frozen? I don't no, know. I got honestly. Frozen 2. Frozen 2. The sequel? Hey. Hey, I'm farming. I'm farming accuracy stat. Oh, nice. some <laughs> ah! guys <laughs> where are you and i'm so sorry a true warrior never runs from a fight wow <laughs> Guys! What the fuck? 
How you doing water, bitch? He's okay, he's okay, he's chilling. No. Get fucked. He's in trouble. You should see the other guy. <laughs> Help me! I'm in the pool! Help me! Help me! I'm in the pool! I can hear you! Help me! I've crashed my flying machine! Help! Help! Hello? Hello, I've died in the swimming pool? Hey, I'm coming, I'm coming. Careful, there's a dog in here. Okay. okay. He's one tapped. I'm trying to find the swimming pool. I'll keep talking so you can follow the sound of my voice. I see it, I see it. Okay, I am, I'm very nearly dead. And he's in the water, huh? I tried, I tried. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I do not want to ingest this, no. Alright, you piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. You got his ass? I got his ass. Now this is fresh. No sweat, bro. Am I dying so oh, I don't have a backpack yet? Sorry, Oh my god. Jesus. Sorry, <laughs> Holy Could shit. you chill a little there bit? There are a lot of things within. <laughs> my brethren crossed over <laughs> to seal your folly. Jesus Christ. The cost of your knowledge. Don't do it. Already clear. <laughs> if you will not stop yourself, we will. <sighs> oh, dude, this guy's edging. <laughs> We're gonna enter that portal, huh? You feel that gooning now, brother? It's two you different can things, different, man. Okay. They're like two sides of the same coin, but they're different. Okay, the message I just got scared me. I can feel my blood sugar you guys, falling. Did you guys get that tip? No. I what? just got it as I got close. Yeah, get closer and you might want to, we might want to. Oh, well, I have a lead up. vest on, so I feel like I should be good. <laughs> okay. I do have to take a shit and I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm, we can I'm, go back to the I'm base tired, for a second. Yeah. Oh, my mouth. I'll go back to base. If you're like a puss or whatever. Hey, man. Not a competition. Anybody have like a frying pan? I have a drying no. pan. Yeah, okay, Brock. Hey, there's one down at base. Don't do it. Dude, do it. Do it. It'd be so No! Oh, <laughs> 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 that's good stuff. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm coming up right after you guys. Don't worry. What's wrong? Justin? Yeah, what's going on? Do you hear that? Yeah, what's going on, Ryan? <laughs> what, what's, what's the problem? He's a fucking demon, man. What's wrong with me? Put him down, man. Put what him happened? Down. What happened? Ryan, I think you're possessed by something, man. He's <laughs> fucked, man. I gotta let me take a nap. Let me sleep it off. He's speaking in tongues, dude. Holy. They won't let me sleep on the. Oh. Oh, oh you're what back. What the fuck? Are you back? What happened, man? Did you not hear anything we just 
Well, I heard you talking, oh, it's but you. Delayed. It's delayed. It's <laughs> delayed. I hear him normal now. What happened? He's... No, that's him talking earlier. Oh yeah, it's catching up, huh? Yeah, it's catching up. Are you, are you back? Hello. Hey. Oh, you're back. Why are you guys trying to kill me? <laughs> Bro, that was I can't. I don't think we can explain. Yeah, well, I was, he... I was shitting while that was happening. You have to go back and watch a clip. I think I don't. I don't think that we would be able to put that into words. You said it's not like you were speaking in tongues. <laughs> <laughs> it was insane. You were you were just walking around going like. <laughs> it was incredible. <laughs> it's you. You'll laugh even harder if you hear it. I think. I don't think you know, it, was, it was insane. Doctor <laughs> Derek Matz reporting. Shit. Research director. God. We now believe IS-171 or the Carbuncle, as Peters was calling Do you think maybe I got infected by something? No, 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 that was, that was too weird. Yeah, that had to be... That was impressive. Dr. Pendleton speculates there may also be a fourth state we have not yet encountered. I believe she may be correct. You're back home. What the... Fuck? What the fuck? Justin? Yeah, what's going on? Do you hear that? Yeah, what's what going on? What the right? fuck? <laughs> <laughs> He's a fucking demon, man. I we have to put him down. We have to put him down. Right, I think you're possessed by He's, this is fucked, man. He's speaking in tongues, dude. Oh. oh, you're back. What the fuck? What's wrong? Are you back? What, what, what's the problem? Did you not hear anything? What's just... wrong with me? Oh, it's what delayed. Happened? What it's happened? delayed. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, let me take a nap. Let me sleep it off. <laughs> they won't let me sleep on the... Oh. He's... What happened, man? No, that's him talking well, I heard earlier. You talking, but you... Oh, yeah, it's catching up, huh? <laughs> yeah. What happened? It's catching up. Are you, are you back? Hello? Hey. Oh, you're back. Why are you guys trying to kill me? Ah, Apollo does look very cool. I perceive a distinct oh, lack of snacks. <laughs> the, what did you guys? The whole point of that was to get ready. Hey, hey, don't yeah, but it didn't, make, uh, it didn't tell me are I was tired. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that was too much, man. That was too much. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh wait, bad. That's pretty good. We're waiting for you. We're waiting for you, bud. Don't worry. We're waiting for you. Two? All right, boys. Now or never. So it's now. Now or never. Okay. I'm not with you. Hold on. Wait, 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 for wait for Justin. Wait for Justin. Okay. I'm oh, Justin, guys. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Failed to teleport. You like rad? No, oh, rad. <laughs> whoa. There's some shit out here, man. How do you climb that? Oh. You just touch it. Wait, is outside someone's home? What's going on here? Oh, you motherfuckers. I saved you. <laughs> I, I broke my leg. <laughs> nope. I'm uh, at Flat Hill Syrup Company, high fructose corn syrup. Oh my god! <laughs> Don't throw stuff at that guy. Yeah, oh, he, he's pissed, bro. He can't die. He can't die. He tanked the slushies. I'm getting in the sewer. I'm, like, I'm in the sewer. Let me, let me down! Let me down! Get, get in! Get in! Open the door! 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 Copy that. Where are you? Ah. Guys, I'm in pain. Guys, guys, I need your help. 
Oh, fuck, dude. <coughs> I'm still I'm still in the sewer. I think this might be a way to go. He can grouch! Oh. They can grab through the door. out here yo this would go crazy back in the base bro I, took a shit somehow. I, I left my screwdriver at the base fellas I made it to a new building is, so, is it the courthouse the over yeah I'm in a courthouse I think okay I'm, I'm on my way to you an insufficiency of food not a good look for us guys. Yeah, don't, don't walk around the sewer in the sewage boys. down there. No! <laughs> is he is he gonna be rezzed? No, his ass is dead. No! Dead, no! His ass passed on from that. <laughs> I can't oh think of that. It's definitely my fault. Dr. Derek Mance reporting, research director. What the hell was in those nachos? IS-046 seems to <clears throat> sing to itself, if you could call it that. Hitting a series of resonant tones <laughs> suggestive of communication. The cavities that create these sounds appear to be the same cavities the creature uses to ingest anyone who comes within reach. <clears throat> Where did you... Oh. <clears throat> Where did you open that? Yeah, uh... on rooftop, and I'm, I'm, and I might take it. All right. I was on the rooftop. I'm here. Don't be scared, Minnie. I'm gonna take the portal, guys. Hello. You're so stinky. I can see okay, the stink the coming off of you. Do anything, really. Even in the dark. Still yeah. here with you. Uh, there are several portals. <laughs> There's a portal that goes like a David Buster, and you have to get to the. Portal. Oh. Don't be scared, mini me. Oh, I'm ruined. I'm over. My ass can get killed. <laughs> he got you? No, no. I'm right behind you. So he's coming this way. Alright. I broke my leg, so. Whoa! I think he found him. <laughs> I'm assuming we're at the end of our session. Yes. I was kind of hoping we'd get back to base. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm still just kind of stuck still right now. I've made it to the ladder. Oh. I still got, I'm just pinned in a corner by this guy. Yeah, I don't really know what to do about that, honestly. I'll get this last power cord. I think he's leaving me. <laughs> yeah, yay! Return to the damn base. Hello, gamers. Hello, I spawned back at my bed. Oh, perfect. Yeah. I'm back in the building as well. Okay, you guys are you guys back home? I did go back home. Okay, cool. Via death. I also went back home via death, but I I was home first as well. Hello. I guess is that the is that the end of the session? I think so, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to try to get home as well. Some foul. <laughs> Guys, mess up the Wow! Oh wow. I'm 
I'm going Maybe off, they'll, they just can't come in, you know? <laughs> that shit bounced back and got you, man. Oh! Can they come in? No, they can't come in, you know? Got the mid-back home. Yay! All right, I'm, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Oh, fuck. I had to leave. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure I was going to die. Okay. Hey. Hi. Hello, great I, gaming, great gaming. Great GGs, great yeah, games. Yeah, well, well gamed. Are you ready to stream? Can I get a link to speaking in tongues, please? <clears throat> Okay, let's see. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Justin? Oh, man. Do you hear that? Yeah, what's what going the on? fuck? <laughs> <laughs> He's a fucking demon, man. I meant to put him down. We had to put him down. Right, right. This is <laughs> fucked, man. Dude, it's so much more scary because from my end, I was like, guys, guys, come on. What are you talking about? Talk to me. What's the happening? Fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> Justin? Yeah, what's going on? Do you hear that? Yeah, what's going on? What oh, the man, fuck? that is good. <laughs> okay, I'll send you over to my wife's team, stream. Man. I went to put him down. We had to put him down. Oh, that is... That is a good one. That is good stuff. <clears throat> All right, later gamers. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Heart and soul. It's got a lot of heart and soul. I don't know the rest of the words. But it's got a pretty good bass line, pretty good bass line, heart and soul. My wife is streaming Mahjong Monday's Pog. I'll send you right over to her stream. Hope you have a great rest of your Monday night. I'll see you tomorrow for Dome Keeper. Boop, I